It was the day before we were supposed to leave for our vacation in Japan. We were on the Williamsburg Bridge. Top of the bridge. And everything was nice until I got this text. I couldn't even fix it at the time because the website wouldn't allow it. So I decided to go to Smorgasburg and grab some vegan treats from Black Recon. I heard a lot about them and I wanted to see what the hype was about. And it was a bit overpriced, but I got a plate of food. I got some plantains over rice with some vegan chicken and an empanada as well. It was okay. Nothing to write home about, but pretty decent. All right, we're about an hour and a half away from leaving to Japan. We got snacks. We got our suitcases. We get one check-in, two check-in actually, because we got a little shafted on our flight. So we're ready to go. Hopefully this flight goes without hitch and we'll be in Shibuya by this time tomorrow. Where are we off to? Japan. Are you excited? Yeah! How long has it been since you've been there? Felt like a decade. How long has it been? Four years! We're on our way. We're about to take a cab over to Terminal 7. And we're gonna take Anna all the way to Tokyo. One way. Non-stop. 14 hours. Let's go! Or as they say in Japan, Ikimashou! You guys excited or what? Nope. Did you order the cab? No, I thought I, you ordered it. No, I thought you did. No, you're joking. You ordered it. No, you did. Yeah, it's true. We hadn't been there in four years since 2019. We really weren't planning on going for 2020 Olympics, but little did we know that the last time we went, we wouldn't see that place till 2023. But boy, were we excited to get there. Currently waiting to board our plane. We're on standby because Air Canada's Toronto flight got canceled. So hopefully we get a seat together, but we might not. And we'll end up taking only one plane straight to Haneda from JFK, which is awesome. Japanese plane is Chikatetsu. The airport is Shikoki. We ended up getting seats together for the flight, which was a relief because sitting apart from each other would have been a disaster. <laughs> Me and my son. We're watching Brandon Fraser act in two different movies at the same time. These rice crackers were delish and vegan. I always enjoy a nice book on a long flight. For our in-flight meals, we chose vegan and the first meal was some type of pasta and roasted vegetable dish with a salad and some more pickled vegetables and some fruit. It was decent, but nothing spectacular. I mean, it is airplane food after all, right? For the second meal, we got some Indian food, which was chana masala and rice.
18 hours later, we've arrived at Haneda Airport. In Japan, they do shower rooms. Concrete, exposed concrete on the side. I love, love, love. Got another AC here, portable AC unit. Here's oh, our luggages. She gave us, oh, here's the Wi-Fi. She gave us pocket Wi-Fi. Oh, wow, so we'll have two. Even though we were really tired, we still had to go to an arcade our first night in Japan. But first stop, Lawson a kombini or convenience store that's on the way to Adores, the arcade that we are going to go visit. We're walking in Japan. Here we are on our old strip. It's like we never left. Four years. But yeah, we're back. We're back, we're back.
back, huh? Oh.
met up with Yogi. My old buddy from that <laughs> We've been friends for over 20 years now. Right, right, right. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> We're walking down the main strip here in Shibuya. <laughs> and we're gonna go see Miyashita Park. Brand new. Yeah. Yep. Crazy Town, aka Mega Don Quixote, Shibuya. Let's go, or do they say, Ikimashou! Don Quixote is your one stop shopping in Shibuya. Open 24 hours, it sells luggages, kawaii items, I mean, some other things, and, you know, everything you can imagine, basically. It's seven floors and takes hours to get through and you can get lost in it. There's also food in the basement and drinks. On this particular night, I bought a blanket and a bedspread and some paper towels. Well, that's a wrap on day zero. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on days one through 18 of me and my family's vacation in Japan. Thanks for watching.